Okay, so this is an example of how you would take a uh, file of MARC records, that would be this file here, and we're going to break it into individual files and then batch process that uh, set of records and turn them into XML, MARC XML specifically. So, we open up MARC Edit, and in order to do it we need to use the uh, MARC Split tool. So, Tools, MARC Split, and we go ahead and specify the file that we want to work with. That's going to be the test file here. We're going to tell it we only want one record per uh, file, and then we're going to give it a destination folder. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this onto my desktop so that I have a place for it. <coughs> I'm going to drop it on the desktop here, and I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder for it. I'm going to call this uh, Split Files. So that's where I'm going to put it. Go ahead and process the file. And when I process it in market at 5.2, the current version, it's going to ask me a question. It's going to ask me if I'd like to use a control field for the file name. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I know what field has the control data in it. It's the 001, so I'm going to name all my files after the, the data that's in the control field. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to process it. Created 21 files. And those files show up here in this directory here in the split files directory. We pop it open and we can see the files here. And we have the names and, and actually it looks like uh, here we got our files. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to batch process them to turn them into XML. MarkEdit has a batch processor here, batch process records. We select the directory that we're going to process from, and so in this case again we're going to select the split files directory. And we're going to tell it the file types we're going to process. We're going to process the MCR file type, and we're going to turn it from uh, mark to mark XML. And we're going to go ahead and tell it to process. Files have been generated. We go ahead and open up the split files directory here. We see a process. This directory has been added. And underneath there, we see all of the XML files that have been processed. <coughs> and so that's how you would do um, a uh, process, um, a batch process. Now, one caveat when you're doing the split file and it's using control and numbers, if you have two duplicate records, it'll keep the uh, last duplicate um, and replace. Uh, and keep only one file with that control number name. So if you have, for example, 22 records in the file, but two of them are duplicates, you'll only get an output of 20 records because it'll only keep one of the duplicates when outputting those files. Okay? Um, hopefully that helps people who are looking to understand how to export a large mark record, in, in large batch mark records into individual files for um, large batch processing.